So looking at the concept of financial assistance and affordability of an independent school is certainly, from a parent's standpoint, one of the most important pieces of the puzzle. And starting that early on is very important. So if you're looking at a grade 7 entry into a school, I would say two years, three years in advance. If you're looking at a boarding option, uh, certainly where the cost is, is even higher than what we would look at a, a day school, to really spend a couple of years in advance financially looking at the viability of the option and also beginning to save towards that. I think most independent schools offer financial aid because we all want diversity in our schools, especially the independent schools. You want, you know, you don't want just your cultural and your religious diversity, you want economic diversity as well. So offering that allows uh, a better mix in your classes. Je crois que les écoles indépendantes, euh, on, a, on a tous un budget pour aider les familles qui ont besoin de l'aide financière. Et je pense que la raison qu'on fait ça, c'est sûr qu'on veut tous avoir un plus grand budget. Je sais qu'à Salon House, on, on travaille beaucoup pour ramasser des fonds. Euh, pour avoir le plus de familles possible qui veulent venir à notre école. Et je crois que c'est parce qu'on veut donner la chance à tous les enfants d'aller à une école indépendante. Pour les écoles indépendantes au Canada, nous savons que ce n'est pas une inexpensive proposition. Financial aid est là pour aider les gens, c'est pour aider à bridger le gap. Et il y a un dialogue ouvert et honnête sur comment le processus fonctionne, uh, quels niveaux d'aide sont disponibles et comment vous allez pour qualifier pour ça. Donc c'est seamless. Financial aid is really important because it's there to ensure that all girls who are mission fit St. Clement School are able to attend. We want to make sure that girls can come and bring their diversity of interests, that they can bring um, their own uh, passions and, and bring their own backgrounds to our school and, and not worry about it. The SEAL accredited schools give away millions of dollars every year in financial assistance. It's something that our alumni are very passionate about and come back and, 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 and endow gifts to the school because they want to make sure that families and, and students in particular have the opportunities that they had when they were at the school and see the amazing opportunities in life that unfold from an independent education. It has zero effect on whether somebody is admissible or not. You gain admission to, to our school based on your merit, based on your person, based on your abilities. There would be some information on our, on our website, but through conversation. Uh, that's the best way to be open and honest about uh, about that need and that support. You might ask the type of questions like, what type of bursaries might you ask? What you know? What are the largest number of uh, bursaries that you could provide, or what typically would you provide? And you might ask the same thing with scholarships. How many scholarships would do you happen to have? What are they awarded for? Typically, what are your criteria? Um, so those things are worth asking. The allocation of the financial aid dollars is it's really intended to cover up to 100% of the fees if the need is there. So the idea is schools like ours want to make ourselves accessible to, to deserving students who otherwise would never be in a position to attend the, the college. So they fill out an application that goes to a third party uh, who assesses the information, uh, confidential information of a parent and then that a recommendation is then returned to our school. We have a financial aid committee that sits uh, and reviews all the applications and, and then divvies up the amount of money for the students. We can't support everyone who legitimately needs financial aid, but you know, I'm an optimist. I work in admission. I'm here to enroll kids and we try and help out wherever we can. And uh, we're proud to say that 21% of our student population is receiving some form of scholarship or bursary. And we want, we'd love for that to be higher. Uh, we're limited, of course, only by the resources that we have. Well, I think financial assistance is a great benefit to schools, all independent schools. And I think schools, you know, the reason for that is we want greater diversity within our population. And there's all different types of diversity. We, there can be ethnic, socioeconomic, different academic levels, different types of learners. And I think that for the strength of a community, the more diverse it is, and at least diverse philosophically, but also diverse in terms of actual population, the stronger the community is going to be. Well, there's two elements to uh, independent schools that help support the idea of financial aid. And one is that we are all non-profit schools. We are not looking um, to make money uh, from these situations. And secondly, we're all, virtually all of us, are very globally aware. We're very, you're keenly aware of the needs of others. We have, to, you know, inset that, instilled that mindset into our students. And uh, we're very uh, respectful and tolerant um, of supporting the needs of others. So it's a good thing to, uh, 
to, to be able to support others and help others. There's no doubt in my mind that the expense is, is a wonderful spend and, and valuable on so many levels, but it is an expense that families need to, to look at and figure out how to best to plan for it.